handing out food to America's underprivileged. For this community center in Baltimore, an everyday routine. Yeah, that's what he said. Social activist Kwame Rose organizes the food distribution. He wants to make a difference in a city where a person's life expectancy depends on the zip code. Growing up in Baltimore, making it to 18 as a young black man, that's a milestone. Making it to 21 is an even greater milestone. Uh, so I'm 26. <laughs> I've lived two lifetimes, essentially. Uh, but, you know, that, that, that's why we do this work every day. Nearly a quarter of Baltimore's population is living below the poverty line. The rate of substance abuse and violence is high. Being born in a poor neighborhood makes it much more likely that you'll stay poor for the rest of your life. In 2016, Donald Trump promised the American people a better life by creating the greatest economy in the world. The people here haven't seen any sign of that so far. I kind of regret voting for Trump because it's the poor people that are hurt by it. I'm by no means poor, but I, I like to come here to be with other people to see how they're doing, you know what I mean? And I know it's not going well. If I was the president, I would have made sure that I'm not thinking about the campaigning, but I'm thinking about the people, the people who die. Kwame believes that if people have access to fresh food and clean water, they might be able to live beyond more than just survival mode. Baltimore has a liquor store to grocery store ratio of nine to one. You can tell some of the areas that are more desolate, some of the areas that are in need of investment, there's no access to produce. Sometimes it's just a five minute drive to a rich neighborhood. Conservatives are convinced that everyone profited from Trump's politics. Compared to prior generations, the poor are less poor now than they were before. The middle class are better off, the upper middle class are better off, and the wealthy um, are better off. This is uh, truly um, a, a story overall of what economic prosperity uh, can do for people of all income levels. The American economy was indeed doing well after the labor market started to recover from the Great Recession almost 10 years ago. Early in 2020, the US recorded one of its lowest unemployment rates since World War II. However, it's high-earning households which have seen more rapid growth in income. And in the coronavirus pandemic, it was mainly low-wage workers who lost their jobs. The wealth gap between rich and poor widens. If you look at the wealth of the richest 10% of Americans, on average, they have $6 million in net worth. Whereas if you go to the bottom 25% of American families, they are in debt. Uh, they don't have, not leave aside any wealth, they are in debt. Kwame feels at home in both worlds. This is an area in which I enjoy the quality of life, uh, the, the great food, the great drinks, but I know that it's not an area where the people who give this city its charm uh, have access to. In today's America, rich and poor might live close together, but they live in different worlds.